I'm now going to show you another way to add some numbers together. And this time we're going to use a 10 frame. Now a 10 frame looks a little bit like this. I've drawn one out, but you might be able to print one out. The most important thing is that a 10 frame has got 10 squares or boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you will also notice that there are two of them next to each other. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So it's really important that when you use a 10 frame that it looks just like this. It's made up of 10 squares and you've only got two boxes next to each other all the way up. Okay, so let me show you how to use this 10 frame to add some numbers together. I've got here the number 2 and the number 3. And I'm going to add these two numbers together. Now what you'll also need are some counters. It's really helpful if your counters are different colours. Yellow, purple and red are the ones that I'm using, but you can use any colour that you like. First of all, I'm going to get two yellow counters. And when I'm using a 10 frame, I start at the bottom. One, two. So I've put my two yellow counters on. The next thing I'm going to do is add on my three, one, two, three, purple counters. And I have to do them next to the yellow ones. I'm not going to do them up here because that's not going to help me with counting all together. I want to do them next to the yellow ones in a pattern. I don't want to do it like this either because that won't help me to see all the objects together. We need to move up the 10 frame using two boxes at a time. So I can see now I've formed a pattern and I'm going to count all of my objects together. One, two, three, four, five. So I know that two add three equals five. Now when you get used to using the 10 frame and you use it a lot and a lot, you will quickly realise that that pattern on the 10 frame always equals five. It always equals five when you see this pattern on the 10 frame. So that's why it's important to use the 10 frame because it will help you to see the pattern of different numbers. Let's have a go at another one. I'm going to put my objects back in the correct piles. I'm going to choose two more numbers. This time I'm going to add four, add two, four, add two. So I'm going to get my one, two, three, four, my four objects there. And remember I start at the bottom of my 10 frame. There's four. And I can see that that's the pattern of four as well. I'm going to add on two more. There we go. And we can see that this is an even number because we've got two boxes next to each other filled up. We haven't got any spare boxes next to an object. We've got all the boxes filled up next to each other. So I know that this is an even number. Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know that four add two equals six. What's really cool about this 10 frame is that you can also add three numbers together. So let's add, let's go with two, add three, add four. Oh, let's find what that is. Two, add three, add four. So remember, I start at the bottom. Two, add three, one, two, three, add four. Check I've got four. One, two, three, four. Yep. One, two, three, four. Oh, I wonder if you can tell me what that number is. Some of you might be able to know straight away because you use the 10 frame a lot that that is the number nine because you know that 10 
take away 1 equals 9. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We were correct. Brilliant. Now, sometimes we might need two 10 frames to add some numbers together. And that's okay. Let me get rid of these objects. I'm going to show you how you can draw your own 10 frame. Just going to draw a long rectangle. I'm going to cut it in half because remember they have to be two boxes. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I know that I've got ten boxes. So I've got ten, add ten, two ten frames. And this is helpful if I want to add together some larger numbers. I'm not going to use my objects for this. Let's say I want to add 9 and 9. Oh, I'm going to use my red pen. 9 add 9 equals. I'm going to do 9 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Notice I started at the top. Now I'm going to add on nine more. I'm going to use a different coloured pen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here I've got ten because I've filled up all ten boxes. I've got ten and I need to add on this many here. So ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I know that 9 add 9 equals 18. And that's how you can use a 10 frame to help you add two digits or even three or four together.